historic city of Durham probably conjures up images of the cathedral, castle, or university. But to many people living there, the ice rink, despite its ramshackle appearance, is the focal point. It was set up 50 years ago by the then mayor of Durham, John Smith, when his ice factory went into decline with the advent of the refrigerator. And as Tom Smith remembers, his grandfather, who was nicknamed Icy, wasn't afraid to take on board a bit of dead wood. After the war finished, there was obviously quite a lot of um, timber that, uh, that had been on standby for making coffins, just in, in, in case of any major disaster, you know, bombs hitting major areas. So obviously the uh, joiners, uh, undertakers, they had such a surplus they wanted to get shot of it all, so my grandfather bought it and uh, turned it into the seat and in the ring. Do the, do the fans know this? I think some of them do. In fact, if the team's having a bad night, you usually say, you know, why don't you bury yourselves in this lot? But no burying Durham this year. Under player coach Paul Smith, another member of the dynasty, the side has gone from strength to strength. We don't have a big football team, like says Newcastle or Sunderland, and um, people have taken to the wasp the same as the other teams respectively have taken to their football clubs. I think ice hockey has a little bit for everybody, whether it be the granny, the mother, the father, or the child. You know, it's got the razzmatazz, it's got the showbiz side of it, it's got the rough stuff if people want to come along and say that, and it's got a lot of goals and a lot of technical skill, and I think it's got an attraction for, you know, for everybody. might only be classed as a minority sport in Britain, so why are the people of Durham so passionate about their ice hockey? Ah, uh, it's exciting. It gets the adrenaline going. Um, if you have bother at work, you can come and let everything go. You just let it all out. Well, mainly because we can bring the whole family in. Never any problems. Plenty of excitement. It's like football used to be about 20 years ago. Ice hockey prides itself on being a family sport, but recent scenes of violence on the ice will have done nothing to promote that image. Durham's playoff match at Solihull two weeks ago had to be abandoned with a minute to go after a huge brawl broke out. And both teams were severely penalised as a result of the brawl. Solihull had two players banned, one until the end of the year, while the Wasps were without two key players for the rest of their playoff games. But despite that, they qualified for Wembley, the highlight of the season. Durham's Canadian import Mike Blaisdell has played with the elite in North America in the NHL, but even he's fired up for the big occasion. We're going with the idea that we're going to win it, and uh, anything less than that will be a big disappointment to us. Uh, obviously, we're going to play some t two very tough games against two good hockey teams, and it's uh, you know nothing's going to be easy. But you know we've been gearing all year for it, and now is our chance to show it. And show it they did in their final playoff game against the Barons, winning by 20 goals to six and installing themselves as firm favourites to win at Wembley on Sunday.